we're gonna find the area in between the two curves y equals x and y equals x squared. Now y equals x is a line. This is y equals 1x plus 0 if you really want it in mx plus b form. That's a y-intercept of 0 and a slope of 1, so it goes over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1 to generate new points. Now, I'm going to put a point here at 1, 1. That's over 1, up 1. And I'm choosing that very specifically because I know that it's also on y equals x squared. y equals x squared is a parabola that starts at 0, 0, goes through 1, 1, and then 2, 4. So that curve is going to look something like this. Well, it should have gone through the point, but that's close enough, right? Like, that's where they meet. So we are looking for the area in between these two curves. The secret to finding the area between two curves is to take the integral of the top function, or the function that is higher up, in my case, x, minus the function on bottom, which in my case is x squared, from the starting point, 0, to the ending point, 1. Write your dx there so that everyone knows that's the variable across which you're integrating. This is the definite integral that when you evaluate it will give you the area between those curves. Do you remember how to take the integral of x and x squared? Well, I do, and I'll show you what I mean. The integral of x is asking you, what would you take the derivative of to give you x as an answer? And the answer is 1 half x squared. The derivative of this uses the power rule. 2 comes down to multiply in here. 2 times a half is 1. And then that exponent gets notched down by 1. So you have 1x to the power of 1, which is just x. And similarly, can you integrate x to the power of 2, the answer is 1 third x to the 3. Again, the derivative of this, bring the 3 down, 3 times a third is 1, which is the coefficient here, and the 3 gets notched down to become 2. Now I've gotten rid of my integration sign because I'm going to take this function and evaluate it at 1 and at 0 and then subtract those two functions from each other. So what I have is 1 half of 1 squared minus 1 third of 1 squared less 1 half of 0 squared minus 1 third of 0 to the power of 3. I may have said that number wrong. In fact, I definitely did because I wrote it wrong too. I'm taking this function, plugging in the number 1, getting that, then I'm subtracting whatever I get when I take that same function and I plug in zero for x. So math-wise, one-half times one squared is one-half. One-third times one cubed is uh, one-third. And I'm going to subtract zero minus zero. Well, that's nothing, <laughs> minusing zero. And so I end up with a half minus a third, which ends up being a sixth. Now the units here, I'm just going to call them units, and because it's area, it's going to be units squared. But apparently, the area between these two curves is a sixth of a square unit. The real point, though, was setting up, like figuring out where the two curves intersected, setting up the area equation, the function on top, minus the function on bottom, evaluated from the first point of intersection to the second point of intersection, and actually taking the integral and then evaluating it at your end point and start point to get your answer. Absolutely beautiful, just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.